Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fast CPAs and Consultants. Here we are with our CPA, Fulton Abraham Sanchez. Good evening, Fulton, and welcome back to our Tax Talk series. Thank you, Hi. Hi. As you may remember, in this video series, we are talking about the different task strategies that you must follow according to your situations, and we will answer the questions received through our social networks and email. In this one, we are talking about the second part of real estate taxes. Fulton, are we ready to continue with this part? Yes, certainly. Perfect. First one, what is the tax advantage of rental property? The tax advantage of, of, uh, of investing in real estate property is what we referred before in the previous video, the tax shelters. And because of the tax shelters, like depreciation, uh, the repairs and maintenance that are expenses, the interest of the mortgage that are also expenses, it creates a, a reduction of the profits of the activity. And many times that activity is a, a loss. And because of that loss, it creates a credit in the tax return. And because there is a credit on your tax return, I'm sorry, and because if uh, uh, that loss is a reduction of your income, you pay less taxes. That's one. Second, it's good to invest in real estate because it's, a, it's something that we, we, just, we discussed in the previous video. It's a passive activity, meaning it creates passive income. If you, if you invest uh, that money in a, in a business, a daycare, a restaurant, anything that you have to work for, you will pay double tax. You will pay the taxes for the income in the activity, and also you will pay taxes for self-employment tax. So you pay two taxes. And in a previous video, we discussed how one is taxed, how the other is not taxed. Just to do a recap, uh, regular income is taxed at the tax brackets that we were discussing in the previous video. Uh, regular income tax is at the, at the regular income tax bracket, st starting 10% with $10,000 and ending uh, with uh, 35% over $410,000. That is for the, the income tax. But because remember, this is a, a restaurant, a daycare, anything that has a, a retail store that is active because you work actively to produce income. In addition to that, you will also have to pay um, self-employment tax if you have the company in an LLC. If you, if, you, if you have your business in an LLC, you pay two taxes. You have the income tax and the self-employment tax. That is internal revenue. But if, when you invest in real estate, you pay only one tax. That is income tax. You do not pay self-employment tax because uh, rental, is, rental activity is a passive income. Rental, rental properties provide passive income, not active, because you do, you do not work to produce the income. The property is the one producing the income. Therefore, there you have passive income, and that passive income pays only one kind of tax, that is income tax. Understood. That's the advantage of a real estate um, against a regular business. And that's, that's the main difference, regular business, Active income, uh, rental business, passive income. That's clear. Thank you. And are real estate taxes deductible? Yes, of course. They are deductible 100% if the activity is for rental. If you rent the property, then 100% of taxes are deductible. If you do not rent the property, they are not deductible. Okay, got it. And uh, what determines real estate taxes? Uh, the the occup the the zone the location. For example, uh, counties in the in the U.S. counties are in charge of uh, the administration of the real estate tax uh, real estate property tax. Is the counties. So the county, depending on the location of the property and the value of the property, how much it is, they will create a tax 
that will allow the functioning of the schools, uh, the fireworks, and the provision of services in the area that will be the maintenance of the parks, and the maintenance of the streets, and with the objective of providing those services to the community. Uh, and specifically, in the case of this uh, property real estate, as I said before, the, the previous question, they are not, the, they are 100% they are deductible if you are uh, renting the property. If you own the property and you live in the property, and they are deductible as well, but the problem is that they must be higher than the, what is called the standard deduction. So for example, you and your spouse have each one $12,000 of standard deduction. So it's $24,000 when you file your tax return. So you have a $24,000 of what is called standard deduction. That is a standard to you. No one can take it away. That will be deducted from your income and then you will pay taxes. If you have uh, taxes that are over $24,000, then it's good to use those, ta those taxes as a deduction instead of the standard deduction of $24,000. But most of the time, for many, many of the, of the owners of homes, property taxes are not over $24,000. That's impossible, unless you live in a, you know, you live in, in a very high, in a very expensive property in California or in New York and in any other state that is a very high property, very, very high property, millions of dollars. Then you will have a, 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 a bill of, of taxes for 24 or maybe more. At that point, it works to use the taxes for the rental property, for the property, to use them instead of the $24,000 of the standard deduction. Otherwise, it doesn't. It's not, many people will say, oh yeah, your taxes are, my real estate taxes are deductible. Yes, but only if they are over $24,000, if you are married, or if they are over $12,000 if you are single. At that point, yes, but most of the uh, owners of um, property owners for residential, like they live in the property, no, the property bills uh, could be five, four, four, five, maybe six thousand dollars for a three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar home. In exchange, if your home, if your home is valued at sixteen million dollars, then yes, you will, you will be happy to use the property property tax bill because it will be over twenty four thousand dollars. Okay, that's clear. And how can I avoid your real estate taxes? There's no way to avoid that. Oh, <laughs> uh, do not own real estate. <laughs> okay, that's the way. <laughs> Thank you. And how can I own land and not pay taxes? Is it possible? Uh, yeah, it's impossible because land, land is also taxable. The county assesses taxes on both land and property. Mm -hmm. So when there is only land, you will be taxes on the land. Maybe very little, very little, uh, 150, 100 dollars, but it will be taxes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the county don't forgive. <laughs> um, how often are taxes paid on a house? Every year, once a year, taxes are assessed in the house, and this changes every every year. Um, whenever there is an increase in value. In the house, they say that people are happy. Oh yes, I my house now is fifty thousand dollars more. Yeah, it's very nice. But next year, maybe not the fifty, but maybe half will be increased to the valuation of the property, and they will pay more taxes. So it's not, it's not very, it's not, it's happy. It's nice, and you're happy when you say, oh man, my my home is value more. But then next year you will, they will they will hit you with a bill. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Okay, and um, what passive income is not taxed? Uh, passive income is always taxable. Okay, so 100%. Any passive income, because income, remember, that's why I say income tax. You say 
is the internal revenue, the section, the one of the uh, 26 section of the internal revenue code is income tax. Income. It doesn't say income tax for active, active income tax. It says income tax. So income tax is for both passive income and active income. Mm -hmm. Understood. And does selling a house count as income? Uh, no, if there is a residency. If it's a residential house, meaning you live in the property, or even if it's a second home, meaning that you do not rent either, neither the first one or the second, you do not rent them out, and you you live in the in one property a portion of the year and in the other property a portion of the year, whenever you sell the house and the gain. The capital gain is up to $500,000 within five years of owning the house, then there is no tax. If you rent the property, it's all, the gain is always taxable, meaning that if you, are, if, you are, if you own the property and you rent it out, it's always taxable the gain because you own the property. And also, if the property is the gain of the property is over $500,000, you will always pay taxes on the portion that is over the $500,000. So for example, if you house, you purchase a house, um, one of the client, client was saying, or we purchase a house for $500,000, now uh, the property is 1.5 million. So even though they live in the property, they will have, pay, they will have to pay taxes over the amount over the $500,000 in, in the gain. So they will, have, they will pay, uh, 500 minus 1.7 will pay over $1 million of taxes because it's, I'm sorry, over 500,000 because it's over the $500,000 gain on the property. Okay, I see. And we have the last question. Do I have to report sale of home to IRS? No. If it is your home, the one that you live, mm -hmm. first home, second home, no, you don't have to report. Although, uh, the the closing company when you close the, the the sale it will report to the IRS that you have received so and so and so from the sale of the property they have but you have to you have to verify with the with the closing company with the title company the one that 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 makes the closing of the property the sale the sale of the property that this is your residency. So they know that in the form that is reported to the IRS because as you are receiving income, the, the, the title company is obligated to report the IRS that you have received that income, but the IRS needs to know that as your, 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 your residency, your first or second home. Okay, understood. Well, thank you Fulton for these details and helpful information. And thank you everybody for joining us. And of course, thank you again. Fulton. And remember, everybody, we are going to make more videos where we talk about the different tax strategies that you must follow. You can check also on our channel the different topics we have already explained, for instance, the part one of this, of this topic, uh, real estate taxes. And in case you have further doubts, please do not hesitate to send us an email or write it down in the comments. You can also follow us on our social networks, like in Facebook, where we have an exclusive group. You have the link in the description of this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we publish a new video about taxes. Thank you again. Thank you, Fulton, and see you everybody in the next video. Thank you, Monica. Bye-bye.